Young Thug is free. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Congratulations to the whole YSL. I guess they're technically a gang now because he pleaded. So yeah, so it's official that YSL is a gang. Guys. Yeah, they were a gang. It's official. Mm. Oh man, I knew it. Now they can get tattoos. A lot. <laughs> they probably already do. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I probably have a snake right here. Like, you know, watch those locals and shit. You ever seen that movie, <laughs> yeah, Blood and Blood yeah, Out? Yep. It's just a snake right here. Slat. Mm. Now, I'm sorry. Like you said, long weekend. But um, we don't have all the information. Well, I don't know if Vegas does off the top of his head, but I know his lawyers and them are going in to try and get like a lawyer, uh, a lower charge. Or, I can't remember. Or they were they were trying to get him on something probation. I can't remember. But he ended up getting time. But because he's been in jail for so long, they gave him time, time served, served and he was released. Well, he's going to be on pretty much probation for the rest of his life. Pretty much. Pretty much. Unless it's like after, like he's doing 50 something years probation, right? No, I think it's 15, 15. 15. 15. 15 years probation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me get, Why let did me, I hear 50? Let me, let me pull up the... Um, you sure? Because the last time yeah. somebody said like it was $800 for the... I said on Wallstar today still. Okay. Yeah. So according to CBC News... <coughs> Rapper Young Thug is a free man after pleading guilty to gang, drug, drug, and gun charges about two and a half years after he was arrested on the charges in a sprawling gang and racketeering indictment. Young Thug was released from custody Thursday evening. It was a remarkable development in a trial that was dragged on and been played by problems. Jury select, you know what? Let me just go down to the yeah, charges. Um, okay, he was originally indicted and arrested in May. Okay. Uh, the plea deal. Okay, he pleaded <clears throat> guilty to one gang charge, three drug charges, and two gun charges. He also entered a no contest plea to another gang charge and a racketeering conspiracy charge, meaning that he decided not to contest those charges but could be punished as if he had pleaded guilty. Um, he will not spend time in prison as long as he abides by the conditions of his sentence. Um, now... Fulton County Superior Court Judge Paige Reese Whitaker gave him a total sentence of 40 years. The first five years were to be served in prison, but that was commuted to time served. Then he has 15 years on probation. Finally, a backloaded 20 years in prison will be commuted to time served if he complies with all of the conditions of his probation. If he doesn't complete his probation successfully, he will, be have, he will have to serve those 20 years Ooh, in prison. So you got 15 years probation? 15 years. That's not bad. State property. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't stand being good. <laughs> like, yo, that's crazy. Uh, so, yeah. So there's also conditions to it, but I don't see the conditions. He's not allowed to be in Atlanta for 10 years. I believe yes, he has an Atlanta In the metro band. area. So I, I don't know if that's different, but he's not allowed to be in the metro Atlanta Pretty much area. Atlanta. The metro. city of Atlanta like that. I know like a lot of people that were in the case or that is involved with YSL. He can't be around except for Gunna. Which, Gunna uh, and his broski. Yeah, it's Gunna and his bro because obviously Gunna's a part of his label and they're going to make money together. Um... Yeah, it, it, all in in all, it, it's just I feel like it's somewhat of a win for hip hop, who's had a pretty pretty much traumatic year this year. But it's a good thing for just YSL and the whole, just Young Thug in general. Like he's been locked up, not knowing what the hell's going on. His case has been like between Woody, Gunna, like the the judge, the first judge coming out, them switching judge. It's been like just problematic for him. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I'm glad that it's just over. We know like he, he's home. That's good. What's next, I guess? Does he come out with music? Does he continue? Like, I guess he was going to have to because he's got a lot of shit that he's paying for or need to recuperate money for the lawyer fees, whatnot. <clears throat> but everybody, usually you would say, like, go get your life together. But that's not what usually happens. We were having a conversation, Bingo, off here uh, a couple of days ago. Do you think that he might, like, drop music and, like, drop into, like, an interview or something? Because, like, nobody really knows the story and what he's been through through the whole thing. We were saying I could see him doing, like, a Shannon Sharp interview within the next, either Christmas or after Christmas. Yeah, I think something like that. That's usually, like, the comeback. They got to, you see, even a lot of artists, they come off and uh, come out of doing time or whatever. And then they, you know, do the interviews, like, car talk kind of interviews and a quick one, two videos. He's going to blow, right? He's a superstar. So, he, he probably do, like, the, the NBA young boy type of approach, like, you sit your house. You sit in your house all day doing videos, that type of stuff, and you just 
make music and whatever, you know. But he's not on house arrest, right? He just yeah. can't go to Atlanta. But okay. there's also places in Georgia like Macon and you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> All those other surrounding areas that I'm pretty sure you can and I don't know if they're in the metro to Atlanta area because I feel like when you say something like that, it's like GTA. You can't right. be in the GTA. That means you can't really be in Toronto, period. You have yeah, to kind of yeah. Bounce out like maybe yeah, Peter Bro, where you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So what's the uh, the equivalent of like Peter Bro to see in a in a, in a in a in a metro Atlanta area? You know what I'm saying? So he, he can't be in those situations. You feel me? Gonna chuck a Lisa then. Chuck a Lisa. Chuck a Lisa. Red ball, red ball. You know, I don't know. If, uh, what's what's a what? I mean, these guys got money. They could live anywhere they want, man. You go to California or something. Yeah. Miami or something. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And then get out of there. You don't have to be in Atlanta. Bingham to Toronto. Right? Even that, yeah. No, he can't. Charges. No, he can't. Charges. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't yeah, do that. Yeah. Anybody can do whatever they want. Yeah. But um, you heard the the freestyle track too, right? The first day I, out. I don't believe that it's real. It's cap. Mm, the AI is real. Yeah, the AI the was cold. Crazy, bro. Yeah. The AI was trying to send that nigga right back to jail. Mm, <laughs> I heard bro. that, and I heard him just saying a one-two. I'm like, oh, you're trying to incriminate yourself. But that's I believe problem, he can't bro. rap about anything too no gang related. related. We can't. No gang gang related raps. And he can't be around. F Criminals, obviously, that's a natural no, charge that everybody related. can't be. You can't rap about gang related music, and you can't be around gang related members. You can't you can't be around gang members. But yeah. obviously, the gang members part is a charge that every judge would give a man. Yeah. But like the gang related music part, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, why? That's um, he was saying in his songs that he fucking thing that he was telling hits on people and shit. So why is it fucking okay. crazy? All right, whatever. Uh, it's crazy because it's just like. What music he's gonna make? <laughs> Cause all of his music kind of no, not I would let me, I'll lie. Um, the Thugger Girls album, it wasn't really like gangster like that. I think he has enough talent to not make gang related music, but still, yeah, yeah. like you know, even when Gunna came out, his music was kind of gang related. He's an artist talking about if I never did I put a hit out on you and shit. Like mm. that's what Gunna was saying. Even yeah. he. He was clearly a gang member. He's a, he's according a, to him, he's an artist, man. He could he could free. I make some girl tunes or something like. I think he'll be fine some musically, yeah. but I think what every I think what it is is like when he come he he's gonna have to get on an interview platform because even fucking Uzi, mm -hmm. I just saw this the other day. Uzi dropped his album. He told me it was shit, but Uzi dropped his album. Where did he go? Kai 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 not. Like that, that's the wave. Yeah, yeah. Imagine fucking Thugger on the Kai Sinat. Yeah. Before <laughs> Shannon, That's I can see that happening. I think so too. Yeah, like goes a lot. Yeah, yeah, one of those. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He'll figure it out. He got his. He got a good team around him. His team is seasoned. He doesn't have a good team around him. He wouldn't have been in jail. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess who in that type of sense. Who doesn't have a good team around him? Need more, Young need more, need more Jewish friends. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he probably does. I'm not lying. Maybe now. <laughs> Got a sticky in that kid at my dog's place. Well, free up young thug, man. Honestly, I think um that's that's a that's good news for twenty twenty four.